Growing up in 90s England, there wasn't a whole lot going for you. You could do sweet jumps on your bike, play Pokemon, or even watch TV. Now, if you were lucky enough, your family had Sky TV. For those of you outside the UK, Sky was pretty much the only satellite TV option, similar to TiVo in the US. If you didn't have this, you were stuck with whatever channels that your crappy inside aerial on your bedroom TV could pick up. You'd be so excited to go around your friend's house to watch Dexter's Lab on Cartoon Network, Kane choke slamming the Undertaker through the ring, and best of all, you got to play Beehive Bedlam. Whereas back at home, I was stuck playing the legendary Bamboozle on Teletext. As I got older, Skyboxes have gained a new place within my heart. With the inclusion of DVR technology, they've now become an excellent source of hard drives. If you could pick them up secondhand for cheap enough, that is. Let's dive in and find out the pros and cons of using these when flipping PCs. I'm Kyle, and this is PC Flipping. Luckily, for the most part, these boxes were given for free as part of a Sky TV subscription, so their value to their owners is next to none. Most get thrown in the bin, left to rot in the attic, but now with local online marketplace platforms like Gumtree and Facebook Marketplace, you can see a lot of these for sale for super cheap and sometimes even free. Most Skyboxes I've come across for sale have been the 500GB model, but occasionally have snapped up the 2 terabyte ones for super cheap. Now I know what you're thinking. Kyle? These hard drives are going to be ancient and they're going to break or you know they're going to die as soon as they go into a build. Yeah you totally could be right but in my experience I've had less issues with these hard drives over ones brought second hand from like let's say CEX or ones that have come with other builds. I used to run a gaming lounge and the PCs I built for it had SSDs for boot drives and Skybox hard drives for the storage. Some of these hard drives at that point could even have been 10 years old. I've since sold all of those PCs on and the people that own them up until this point haven't reported any issues, that's an absolute win. Now these two 500GB Sky boxes you can see here, um, I got them for free just before Christmas and now I finally have a reason to crack them open. I won't go through in detail how to do this but I'll put a link to a video in the description below. Let's pop it into a build I'm working on and we'll run some diagnostics. Okay, so the hard drive is now plugged in. Um, I did have a slight issue, it wasn't working, but I realized I actually forgot to plug in the SATA cable. <laughs> That's my bad, I spent about 10 minutes trying to figure that out. Um, right, soon, let's go to File Explorer. This PC, and yeah, you can see it's showing up there, 500 gig. Um, it's probably all the contents of the drive when it was in the Skybox. I, don't, you, I, I doubt you can go in and view any of these files, or. If you can, probably nothing interesting. Um, what I'm going to do is I am going to go to disk management. Um, just press start, just type in DSK. I'll bring up this program here. Um, and I'm just going to format that drive. Is it going to let me do it? I'm just going to go delete volume. Yep. Unallocated. So now that technically shouldn't show show here which is what we want yeah so you right click on that new simple volume next same as if you're formatting a usb drive basically the same kind of process it will have a drive d uh, i'm not bothered about the name we'll keep that as new volume quick format yes leave the rest of that as it is next finish and there we go drive is all working okay so i found this program yesterday uh, HDD scan seems to be good. I'll download this. So in here we should see the 120 gig drive and our new 500 gig drive. We'll go to the general health information. Uh, yeah, that's all looking good. Um, anything we need to be concerned about? That's interesting. It's only been powered on for 33 hours. That's really good. Awesome. So basically, to summarise, when it comes to hard drives, I'd rather take them out of Skyboxes than buy them secondhand anywhere else. They're usually cheaper and I've had a lot more success with these ones than from eBay or CEX. Obviously your mileage may vary, but this has been my experience in flipping PCs over the last 10 years. Before we close off, I'd just like to say thanks to everyone commenting on my videos and a warm welcome to all the new subscribers. I'd love for you guys to get more involved going forward 
I know it's a little cliche, but I think it'll be awesome to do a review of your PCs. There's another link in the description below, so please be sure to check it out and submit your entries. I can't wait to see them. Once again, feel free to hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Catch you next time.